Hi, Shan. It's Maddie Wyatt here. I want to thank you so much for watching my video today. Uh, but I know that you had a question about how to use the CameraWorks HUD. So I'm going to show you how I use it. So first of all, you are going to need some kind of screen capture recording software so that you can record your screen. Now, as you can see, I do have my HUD here for the camera works. And basically what I do to catch the, um, the forward facing walking or whatever is I click this button right here, which gives you the view of the avatar. So it's, it's, it's showing you from the level of the avatar. Now, when you see if I walk, that's what happens. See, it'll, it'll capture me from the area where I'm walking from the point of view of, of, of my avatar. Now, if I wanted to uh, do it forward facing, I would just uh, say, for instance, I'm walking forward, so I would move the up arrow and you would see me from behind. Now, when I use the uh, down arrow, actually, you can see me walking forward and I'm facing forward. Another feature in the camera works that I really enjoy to use is when you are locking your camera at the position that you want it so that the camera doesn't move, but you move all, all around the, uh, the sim. So for example, I'm going to click this here and then I'm going to walk freely anywhere I want on the sim like this. And there we are. And as you see, when I don't, when I don't, um, or rather when I uh, click on the camera again or click on this HUD again, it goes to the default setting on the, uh, on the viewer. So you would have the viewer of your SL camera at this point. You just hit your escape button and you're back. Now, if you're wanting to use your camera HUD again, you will just uh, hit, es um, hit escape again, I believe it is. I don't know, it's, it's all basically trial and error, but those are the two main things that I use when I use this HUD. To get the camera works view again, you just either hit this or this. And then again, you can walk wherever you like and the camera stays still. Or you do the avatar view and you can walk and have the camera follow you. If you're walking forward, again, you're using the up arrow. And if you want to face the camera, you just use the down arrow and you walk. The only bad thing is that you don't know where you're going. So you'll have your occasional bumps into certain items and things like that. Another thing is that you would need to use these controls here, not um, say these controls. Because what happens is you'll click on this and then you'll use the viewer camera as opposed to when you're using this. In order to get back to this, you just have to hit your escape key if you're um, using, I guess, uh, I'm not sure exactly what kind of PC you use, but you just use your escape key to get back to this level here. And what I do to, uh, let's say I wanted to turn my camera around, I just do this. I use the regular viewer camera and then I position my avatar how I want the shot to be depending on what it is that I want to capture. Like that. Well, Shan, I hope this has been a little bit helpful for you. Um, again, if you have any other questions, because I'm not sure precisely what it is that you wanted to uh, capture, but again, the main thing that you will need is a screen capture software like OBS or VDSC. Those two are free, but what I use is the Snagit Capture. That was the least expensive expensive uh, option, which is a version of, say, the Camtasia, but the Camtasia is slightly different, and this was just easier for me. Um, so I hope this helps. Um, if you have any other questions, just feel free to leave them in the comment section or write me a private message from uh, on my YouTube channel, letting me know if there's any other way that I can help you with filming on Second Life. So yeah, that's it. Those are my secrets. Don't tell anyone. All right. You have a good day. Bye.